Where some people see an eyesore, artists see a canvas. The stores in New York's Soho district first closed in March because of the COVID pandemic, but then were boarded up for protection during the recent protests and sporadic looting. And now, weeks later, the entire neighborhood has become an open air art gallery of sorts of protest artwork. On almost every block, artists have converted boarded up businesses into artistic statements to mark these unprecedented times. I think um, we're living through the greatest period of change in, I don't know, maybe since the Berlin Wall fell. On one corner, we find artist Trevor Krupp painting his second mural in the neighborhood. Hundreds of people in the last few days have said thank you to me as they're walking by. Um, you see an outpouring of creativity. Some artists that haven't painted for years are painting out here. On another street, Lydia Venieri. She's originally from Greece and has painted faces of black people that have been killed by police. And we have to remember them, not to forget them. This is like a bright memorial. And I'm very sad to say it's a work in process because every few days they continue to kill somebody. Eventually all these stores will reopen and this wood that's been put here to protect the doors and windows will all be taken down. And with it, all of this art will be lost forever. It's already happening. With the looting over, shops are preparing to reopen. A group called Soho Social Impact is trying to preserve as much of the art as possible. And there is a lot, from the hopeful to the defiant, to the art that makes you think. Telling the story of New York and America the past few weeks on the most unlikely of canvases. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, New York.